Rumors are that allegedly Bravo is ready to pull the plug on Portia's spinoff. What did she do? And can she save her show? I have some new information that may answer all of those questions and more right after this. What's up, Kimfo, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified so you will know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. All right, Kimfo, come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about, and it centers around rumors that allegedly Bravo is ready to cancel Portia's spinoff. What did she do? And can she save her show? I have some new information that may answer all of those questions and more. And here it goes. Sources are saying that things aren't looking too good with the future of Porsche spinoff. Allegedly, Bravo isn't happy with the dark turn Porsche spinoff took on social media last week and can't see a path forward with the reality TV star. Sources believe that Portia's inability to control her family drama may have played a big role in Bravo's frustration. Those close to the situation say that Portia's family drama became too big to control, primarily because Portia never seemed interested in maintaining her family's image. So, the question is, has Bravo officially decided to cancel the spinoff? Well... Sources say, not yet, but they don't see a scenario where Bravo will bring back Portia's family circus. At this point, it's a matter of when and not if the show will be canceled. Another source said, Portia should definitely be looking elsewhere for her next paycheck. And all the sources agree that Bravo allegedly doesn't want to touch, film, or have anything to do with Portia Cousin Storm's claims. It's messy, said the source. Too many legal issues that could prove costly for the network. I see them cutting their losses and moving on from Portia and her family drama. It simply isn't worth it. All right, Kim folk. There you have it. And as I've been saying all week, this is uh, a lot of drama for a spinoff that has created a lot of drama with just in a couple of days. And... You know, as always, we're going to go through this rumor and see which parts of it can be true and which parts of it can be a little bit embellished. Now, I'm going to say this. We heard rumors, I mean, as far back as November that there were certain scenes in Portia's uh, spinoff that was going to take her uh, storyline and her family's storyline into a dark place. We heard some things, but I'll be the first one to say that I was I was surprised that it went this dark and so quick. So I think that um that may have even caught the networks off guard because if you notice, you know, it didn't go like left field until the drama reached social media. On the show, you can tell that the producers with editing can control fallout and can control drama to a certain extent. It's the things that happen on social media that really took the show, which is unfortunate, to a very dark place. And so now people are going to be watching the show trying to see, well, are there any signs that, you know, what she said could have been true? And, you know, moving forward, I just really do think that, you know, both family, both sides of the family really should try to come to some type of um, mediation and nip this in the bud. And, you know, another part of the rumor that I kind of feel is, you know, could be factual is the fact that Bravo probably doesn't want to touch this type of content and those claims made by Storm. You got to think about it. Whenever Bravo um, has a franchise or an ensemble cast and one person makes claims like this, and especially if those claims are unfounded, and sometimes if those claims are just made out into the public sphere, they seem they, they tend to historically get rid of that cast member. 
you know, i.e. Phaedra. Um, you know, rumors were about someone, uh, I think Katie on Potomac, if I'm not mistaken. I want to say um, Below Deck, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So Bravo does have a, a pretty good track record of nipping this type of behavior and nipping this type of, uh, these type of incidents in the bud. Because, you know, they ultimately have, you know, an image to, uh, to uphold. And also, they have a brand to protect as well from legal instances. And I'll be the first one to say, I even I hate talking about this type of comment on, on my channel. Because it's like, it's, it's very um, nefarious in nature. And it just gets very messy very quickly. So, I can see Bravo pretty much stepping back from Portia and her family spinoff. Because... You can, you know, take two people off the spinoff, right? But those are two people who have a very intricate, intricate, intricate part of the show. So you take those two people off, you don't really have a hit on your hands. You know what I mean? You don't have that draw. Then if you keep them on, then you go into a, next, a, a season two and that's all everyone wants to talk about. So it's kind of a double-edged sword here. And so that's how I can kind of see Bravo just saying, you know what? We're just going to be done with the spinoff. Now, I will say this. They may give Portia um, maybe a three-part wedding series to where it's nothing but focusing on the wedding. It won't be a season two. It'll be titled, you know, Portia's Dream Wedding or something like that. I can, I can see that. But a whole nother season of Portia and her family drama, I, I, it's, I, it's hard for me to see it moving forward. Um, I can not say this, um, you know... There is a connection with a lot of these rumors of how Portia's family allegedly see her. And you even see the this rumor about how Bravo may also see her. And that is, they see that she is unable to control her family drama. And that is a key factor when you have a person at the head of a franchise. This is what I mean about the difference between, Por <coughs> between Portia... And Nene. Nene can command the scene and Nene can command a storyline. And she knows how to produce people um, in an ensemble cast. Portia doesn't seem to be able to do that. And that is something that if you're going to lead your own franchise, you have to have that ability to do. It seems like Portia, you know, no matter how you feel about it, it's reality TV. We want drama. She knows where the drama is. She knows who has the drama. And to a certain extent, she knows how to pull that drama out of people. However, where she drops the ball is, once that drama is out into the atmosphere, she doesn't know how to corral it. She doesn't know how to edit it. She doesn't know how to pull it back. She don't know how to pull certain people back. And she can't manipulate the scenes to where, you know, we get drama, but not too much. You know, we get drama, but it's still, you know, clean, decent drama. And she doesn't have the ability to do that. It's like she literally throws a grenade in the room and then just boom, everything explodes and she does not have the wherewithal to clean things up. And so I think Bravo may also be seeing that um, the deficiency in her ability to carry a spinoff to where I think they might just say, you know what, it was a good try, but we're going to pull it back. And I, like I said, I do see them giving her her own wedding special, maybe three episodes, four tops, and then just being done. Now, will she be back on Real Housewives of Atlanta? You know, some people say that she left on her own. Some people say that she was dismissed by production and the network. We don't really know, but we will see after season, after this season of Real Housewives of Atlanta, uh, premieres, runs, and we'll see how things go at the end of that season. But Kim, folk, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think if Bravo cancels Portia spinoff, do you think it's the right move? Or do you think it's the bad or the wrong move? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All right, Kim folk. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys over on the next one. Peace.